South Road at Pin Street. This is Greater Adelaide and this is the CPD of Adelaide. The blue lines are some of the major roads and freight routes for road freight and the green lines are railways, are the, the normal railway using steel tracks, trams and trains or the other kind of railway which is a Oban railway, bus or railway. This line is the north-south roadway which is being developed as we speak. This section is the northern connector which is being built at the moment and at this point we then have the urban superway down to a point just here then we're back to a normal road at this point is Pym Street Pym Street the level crossing in one of the videos and this is Pym Street at the northern end of the T2T -T. this is Torrens Road the original end for the T2T -T. and just here is the River Torrens itself. So this is the current T2T -T development. We're coming down and we get to Darlington and then the South Road goes either on the old original South Road or the Southern Expressway. In an earlier time, the, the 950s, there were plans to run major roads where we are now building those major roads. And one of the problems with major roads is they need to interconnect with one another. This is the inner ring route around Adelaide. And as we can see at this point here, the inner ring route kind of loses its way because of a mix of of industrial and and uh, rail developments and so so this is North Terrace and there used to be a railway line which ran from North Terrace along this line down to Glenelg, the so-called Salinas line one of the two railway lines private rail lines used to run to Glenelg and this right of way is now the way that the inner route gets onto the outer route. The MATS plan suggested that the connection between the outer ring route and the inner ring route would be here at Adams Street and having a cross there and going around. So the video is looking at the section from Adams Street or just by the River Torrens to Pym Street. This section is not being shown in the video because there are sight screens which would prevent us from seeing any roadworks and all we can see is trucks running along the roads alongside it. Torrens Road, South Road the road bridge over the plains of the north-south right of way looking south over 
South Road. You can see a uh, large pipe being laid underneath the road. Looking south from Torrance Road into the cutting. Road, road overpass. Looking south. Street Road Beach. Hawk Street Road Beach. Tram lines used to run up Hawk Street to the city from Cheltenham. Looking south from Hawker. Hawker Street Road Bridge and Concrete Pump. Looking north, south. This is the up ramp to get out of the North South Road up onto Port Road on the left hand side, and on the right hand side is where vehicles coming from Port Road descend down 
onto this freeway. This is a major interchange between these two major roads. The truck is sending the up ramp out of the cutting. The point where traffic coming from Port Road will merge down onto the freeway. The main road itself descends down to a lower level so it can go underneath the Port Road. No trains are running at this particular moment. The truck coming down the access from Port Road. two-carriage train going over the rail bridge over South Road. The point where traffic from the Port Road will descend down onto the expressway. With electricity substation. South Road, Port Road at ground level, looking down into the cutting. You can see that the bitumen has been laid on this section of the road. can't turn right from South Road towards the city. Looking into the uh, cutting towards Grange Road, Manton Street. and towards the River Times. South Road, Port Road, bridge, looking south towards Grange Road.
Hamilton Street. Scout Road, Mountain Street, Grange Road. Looking south, where the uh, road merges up the ground. Just in the distance is the River Torrens. South end of the Torrens River to Torrens Road development, where the cutting route is up to ground level. So we're actually not quite at the River Torrens, the River Torrens is about another 100 metres, 20 metres away. And up here we can see Adams Street, the bridge over the River Torrens. This is the logical way that the inner ring route should get from the north and northeastern suburbs onto the north south road and was proposed in the 1950s as part of what was called the Metropolitan Adelaide Transport Study. It suggests that this may be something that will happen in the future. Currently, the inner ring route gets lost as it tries to go along Court Road and get into the southern suburbs. The inner ring route, in fact, is not a ring at all. It's, it's part of a ring at the moment. Torrens to Torrens at the Torrens Road end. Which part of the Torrum has been made wider, and uh, this is the River Torrens. The River Torrens has got many, many dams built upstream to control the water, so the river only flows when authorities decide to let the water come down. This is the an underpass under the bridge, and the historic. Graveyard alongside Adams Street. 